What is up guys, it's Tage Moment Slayer here, back with another video, and so today I'm here to talk about the Xbox One Scorpio. Yay, they finally revealed it, which is not a real fucking reveal, like you just had somebody go look at the specs, like come on, like I want to see gameplay off that motherfucker. But, all things aside, not like trash talking it, it's cool that the guy got to go out and like just come back and say yes, like it is true, it's the most powerful console they ever seen. And what I wanted to throw out there is, I read this article, it's really, to be honest, accurate article, kind of predicting, just, it's just the simple fact is that Scorpio going to outsell the PS4 Pro, because we all know that's what they're trying to do, they're trying to jump back ahead in front of the console generation, they're trying to say, we own this bitch, we are fucking dope, and PS4 sucks. But, in reality, so, the Xbox One Scorpio is... I'm just going to go ahead and say it's 30% more powerful than the PS4 Pro. Like on each key factor of it, it's at least, I want to say 100 more. Like with the megahertz it pushes out, it's 100 more. With the GDR5, it's like one more. I don't know. I'm going to say it's 30% it's, it's more powerful than the PS4 Pro. It's not fucking so much more powerful. It's going to make you jizz your pants. It's not fucking like insanely PC powerful, you know what I mean? But it is more powerful than PS4 Pro by a good amount, I guess. But that's not the, the point here. How powerful the game console doesn't matter because what it's made for is 4K. 4K is still something barely new. I'm still talking to my roommate and like having those like conversations like, dude, like, do I want a 4K TV yet? You know what I mean? Like, it's like, and I want one really bad, but, like, you know what I mean? He is kind of on the, well, I'm going to wait. You know, like, I'm just going to wait for it to get kind of out there and, like, lower the prices a little bit because it is fucking expensive. And it's cool, and I watched another video about a dude, like, just saying, like, what the real, like, 4K is kind of, like, not cool yet because, like, if you get a certain size screen, there needs to be a minimum distance you are away from it to fucking even see the difference. So if I got a 70 inch screen, if I am nine point, if I'm nine feet away from it, I will see the difference. From any further, it's not like it's basically just 1080p. It's 4K, but like you know what I mean. Like it's basically 1080p. But <clears throat> I don't know if that's accurate at all. Like I don't have 4K TV. I just saw a video because I was about to get one, and he kind of persuaded me off the topic for the net, for the moment. But um, anyway, the Scorpio is going to come out in fall, and is that really? Enough, like, is everybody going to have a 4K TV to go out and, like, say, okay, I have a 4K TV, I'll get the Xbox One. It's like, that's just the, like, one of the things I'm going to talk about here is that I don't think everybody's going to own a 4K TV, let alone want to go get one for the Xbox One Scorpio, because that is what it's being made for. It is being made for native 4K, UHD, 2160 frames per second. Well, 2160 pixels, sorry, frames per second, idiot. But, and don't get me wrong, 4K is cool as shit. Like, you don't know how bad I want to, like, see some shit in 4K, but, like, I'm not going to go out and just buy one because I'm so hyped up for it. And, like, well, the Xbox One, Scorp the Xbox Scorpio's price alone is probably going to be, like, $600. Along with the price of the 4K TV, and I guess, like, oh, we're, like, just unveiling it now, so it gives you time to go get one, you know? It's like, dude, fuck that. You know what I mean? I can perfectly play my PS4 and my Xbox One on 1080 screens and be happy. But yes, I do want to see shit in 4K, and that is a dream of mine. Eventually, I will buy a 4K TV, just not right now, because it is still, like I said, a fairly new idea or thing. But anyway, let's steer off the topic of 4K. Um, Yeah, another thing that I wanted to kind of touch on is that, that the article is mentioning is specs don't make the console specs aren't like well we have these specs so it's the shit everybody wants one specs are just a minor factor that plays into a console's life cycle that allows games to be played so we have these specs that so these games can play on it but something where sony will always at the moment just where microsoft is at and i'll touch on it a little bit more is that they have better games. They were they have better first party. I don't know what the first party games like The Last of Us, fucking 
Uncharted 4, Horizon Zero Dawn, which is alright, I will say it wasn't the best one, but just those games alone just make the console. They're all narrative driven, have either very fun combat or a very good story. And it's just, they have The Last of Us 2 coming out along with the new God of War that looks fucking cool. They have games for me that I am excited about. Microsoft fucked up and canceled Scalebound. Now, I don't know about you, but Sea of Thieves is the game that is out there. And we're getting fucking Crackdown, which is going to be cool. And fucking Cuphead. Cuphead's going to be dope as fuck. But does it look like I want to see Cuphead and Sea of Thieves and fucking 4K? No, I want to see Scalebound in 4K, because that shit looked insane. I want to just, like, crack down, I'm going to get to see in 4K. You know? Well, if I buy a fucking 4K TV. And that's just another thing I kind of want to lean on, is that, like, even with that, Sony sales are so high that they would need... Microsoft would need to sell so many consoles just to even fucking, like, get on the level with Sony. And that's where I think Microsoft's major mistake is lying in place. Because don't get me wrong. I love Microsoft. I have a fucking Xbox One that I play regularly. Well, I just got this one. I had one, traded in for a PS4, and just got a new job and was able to go get another Xbox One. I have a PS4 sitting right there. <clears throat> they need to quit focusing on the other company. Focusing on the other company is what is fucking them up. Hey, we need this to be better than them. They have, to, like, and I get it. I fucking get it. Console wars are important, like shit, like, you know what I mean? I had my own fair share for a while, just like, this is better than that, and this is better than that. But, like, in reality, that's kind of what's destroying the company, along with the exclusivity, fucking, all of that shit, is that if Microsoft was making console, we're making a console for the gamers, but don't give a fuck how much powerful it is than the other. We know that for a fact, if this console releases with this lineup of games, people are going to love it. Not fucking pushing out console after console every fucking year so I have to go buy a new one. You know what I mean? Like, it's ridiculous. It, that's another thing that I just, just stick with the fucking life cycle. Like, you know what I mean? It's ridiculous. It, I don't know. But anyway, these are my views and my opinion on the Xbox One Scorpio. And anyway, I get there are major, just real quick... Side note, there are uses for the Xbox One Scorpio without the 4K, such as tinkering your games and making it run at 60 frames per second, which is cool and it makes your game look just a tiny bit better. And that's another thing with PS4 Pro, like you can individually go and tinker with your shit if you don't have a 4K TV. That option there too to make it run as smoothly as possible. But anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and let me know what you guys think in the description below because everyone's entitled to opinion. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Peace.